patients who come to the hospital who present with stroke-like symptoms, uh, and there's a concern that they're having ischemic stroke from like a thromboembolic event or a clot in the brain, will undergo something called angiography. Now, angiography is when interventional radiologists will shoot dye into the arteries of the brain and blood vessels and basically see if there's any sort of clot there that's blocking perfusion to the distal arteries. Once they've identified where that clot is, they'll go in uh, with a guide wire through the a distal artery, like in the radial artery, which is in the wrist, and make their way up to the artery where the occlusion is. And now this is where they're going to perform thrombolytic procedures. So thrombolysis, meaning they're going to break up that clot, and it can either be by sucking out that clot, or they inject medications at that spot to break it up. Now, after they've broken up this clot, what really matters is how much perfusion is getting past that clot now. And the way that we grade this is called the TIKI score. Now, TIKI, T-I-C-I, stands for thrombolysis and cerebral infarction, and there's four scores. Grade zero being no perfusion passed. Grade one is penetration of dye with very minimal perfusion. Now, the TIKI grade two is broken up into two grades. 2A is when you have less than 50% of the distal reperfusion, and 2B is when you have greater than 50%. However, it's not complete reperfusion. There's also emerging evidence for a grade called 2C, where you have complete reperfusion. However, the filling of that perfusion is slower than what you would normally expect. And grade three is when you have complete revascularization past where that clot was. Now, the reason we have these reperfusion scores is because it basically gives us some sense as to what the recovery of these patients are going to look like and help prognosticate what these patients are going to do as they recover from their stroke.